spent 67 years fighting for democracy in South Africa. Today, the former president, Nelson Mandela, is celebrating his 91st birthday. To mark the occasion, the Nelson Mandela Foundation is asking people around the world to help launch Mandela Day by spending 67 minutes doing work for their community. The BBC's Andrew Harding now reports from Johannesburg. Frail but clearly delighted, Nelson Mandela celebrates his 91st birthday at home. The former president surrounded by South Africa's current political leaders and by his family, including his wife, Grassa Michelle. But this is more than just another milestone for Mr Mandela. It's also the launch of Mandela Day, an annual event he hopes will inspire charitable activity around the world. Mandela Day will not be a holiday, but a day devoted to service. It is our hope that people will dedicate their time and effort to improve the conditions within their own community. In that spirit, volunteers across South Africa are doing their bit to mark this first Mandela Day. These people have come to a centre for disabled children on the edge of Johannesburg. Help is certainly needed here. This country still struggling on so many levels. But if anyone can inspire South Africans, it is Nelson Mandela. Even in retirement, he remains a towering figure. It's definitely our turn, and I think it is going to make a huge, huge difference in um, the little kids' lives. Everywhere we go, then, it's going to make a huge difference. Will Mandela Day catch on globally? If this ageing, iconic figure can't pull it off, it's hard to imagine who could. Andrew Harding, BBC News, Johannesburg. The newsreader, known as the most trusted man in America, Walter Cronkite, has died. He was 90.